Think about it. Democrats turning down a meeting with President Biden's national campaign manager. If that's not sending a message, I don't know what is. But after sitting down with the mayor of Dearborn, he says that is exactly the point. You know, what do I tell my residents, my residents who have lost loved ones overseas? Dearborn's mayor says his decision to bail on a meeting with President Biden's campaign manager reflects the sentiment of the Arab American community on the Israel Hamas war. This is not the time to talk about elections. This is the time to ask and demand for an immediate ceasefire. It was all set for Friday afternoon. About a dozen local Arab American leaders, including Dearborn Mayor Abdullah Hamoud and State Representative for Dearborn, Al Abbas Farhat. I couldn't get myself to want to sit down with that individual. From Biden's camp, Julie Chavez Rodriguez was supposed to lead the meeting. A source familiar with the meeting tells us this was part of a tour starting last fall in key battleground states to talk election strategy with diverse groups. Right now is a time for us to hold them accountable to the promises they made in 2020 when they said the Arab American community, the Muslim American community will have a seat at the table. And we don't have that seat right now. This sentiment could spill over into the upcoming election. Remember, President Biden won Michigan over Trump by 154,000 votes. There are currently 300,000 Arab Americans in Michigan, according to the census. State Rep Farhat says 80% typically swing Democrat. If you polled them, many of them will tell you this is their number one issue. If the president's policymakers decide they want to talk ceasefire, it's a meeting the mayor would consider. If there's a meaningful conversation to be had, where you're not just here to listen and then walk away for a photo op, we'll gladly take that conversation. The meeting that never was was actually part of a series of meetings between Biden's campaign and folks here in Michigan, specifically the Hispanic and black communities. Reporting in Dearborn, Jessica Dupnack on the Edge.